Today on episode 52, our Khalil Mack episode of Typical Chicago Fans, presented by From the Sideline, we have Sinkers and Floaters, an NFL roundup in week six, campus tour week seven in college football action, an MLB playoff update, Blackhawks early season woes, and Typical Chicago trivia. Let's roll. Hello and welcome to episode 52 of Typical Chicago Fans, presented by From the Sideline. Uh, we are here on a Monday night, uh, October 14th. Yep. There you um, go. I'm, I'm trying to try and start doing the dates at the beginning of the podcast. Just How many times are, are you going to do that and, and not that, mess Maybe up? that's the joke. Maybe that can be the new thing. Yeah. How often will I know? It's sh- I should always know because it's right here on, on, uh, your computer. on the computer. Yeah. But that still doesn't mean that I'm going to remember or ever look. Uh but we are here in the content cave tonight. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Z Lilia L I L J A T C F on Twitter. Um, the main page is at typical underscore Chicago. Uh, bear with me here for at oh from for four from the sideline. It's at sideline with a one is the first I in sideline sports. Again, it is <laughs> it's not confusing. at sideline. The first I in sideline is a one. Uh, sports. So if you want to follow us on there or type in from the sideline, it probably should just pop up for you on there. Um, but on Facebook, we do a Facebook live show uh, once a week uh, between usually between Tuesdays and Thursdays. We had a special Friday edition yeah. this week, uh, but we usually do it between Tuesdays and Thursdays at eight o'clock. So always watch out on our Twitter and Facebook page. Uh, we also have four updates on the times and when we're going to do it. Usually um, I'm an idiot. And I don't usually put it up too quickly so it's kind of our schedule is also like very very in, every like we say while, thursday so. night and it might be you know a little bit of a so variance I'll be do, i'm gonna try and do and better and on getting it planned out more uh but if you want to catch us on there we have our podcast I also go on there our youtube videos of the podcast and uh our live shows that we do and our nfl pick shows which go on our youtube page uh and from the sideline on facebook and then on instagram we just play we play some ping pong so if you ever want to catch up on how we do we post it on our instagram stories on typical chicago fan you boom we got w uh the niece my niece screwed yeah i thought you were going down there it's tough point 10 i thought you were falling yeah so that's but, why I lost. Uh, yeah, yeah. But no. also from the sideline on Facebook and, and Instagram, also from the sideline on there too. They have uh, stories and stuff. Um, Chicago Cubs, Bulls, Hawks, everything you got for on their Instagram page. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at BoomyTCF. If you're an Apple user, all of our podcasts are on Apple Podcasts. Subscribe, rate, and review there. If not, you can find us on Spotify. Just follow us there, and they'll uh, update you on all of our ones we release. And also head on over to the YouTube page, like Zach said. We have our weekly video, uh, our live video that we put up. We also record all the podcasts uh, and and show those videos, and then all the other random stuff uh, that we're doing. So uh, a lot of big stuff coming up. here in the near future we're going to keep working on uh, some more video content to get you guys just head on over to the youtube page and subscribe well speaking of that let's get into sinkers and floaters my floater is sports just sports, just sports in, general. in general so much sports there's football and we're not even to college the football best part and NFL. Yet. no we got basketball on the horizon we can see it coming we got we got college basketball on the way um, you see, college football is in prime time. These games are going to start just getting better and better every week. NFL is just going to get more intense. Uh, you got hockey. Um, I know baseball is in the, the playoffs right now. I mean, this is just a great time to be a fan of sports. Uh, the WNBA Finals was the other night. I mean, yeah. We had everything going on here. Uh, in the time, but watching sports, if you're a fan of sports, and just just the, even if you're not a gambler, if you right, just love right. watching it. Um, that it, this is the time, you the time of the year that you just thrive because See, it, especially for us, it's getting a little colder out. Maybe you don't go outside, outside as much. You're hey, did you notice more. how warm it is down in the cave this winter? Or I mean, no, we're not to winter yet. But you notice how not freezing it was down here. I think we got a little bit of the the. Heat, but last year we complained a lot how cold it was down here, and that's because I had a window open all winter because I had some sun pump issues. Got that fixed. Got the the heating turned on this week. It is perfect down beautiful here. down here perfect perfect so like um, said, but it's also going to be a nice little area for when it gets cold it's snowy we come down here on saturdays and sundays we watch all the football yep and we stay basketball. away from- that's what i'm saying that's not even my favorite time my favorite time is 
like right after or right before Thanksgiving because you have the NBA, you have college Bro, I mean, basketball. I just mean right you have, now you can look out and there's just months and months yes. and months of we're great like standing sports. on the horizon of a, an area we're about to go to and it's our favorite place. We've every ever day it's just getting better and better and better, but every day is great too. I mean, exactly. Every day where we can just turn on TV and watch a competitive game of sports, it's it's just beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. My sinker, on the other hand, is a woman named Arian Moore, 28 of St. Louis. Uh, this poor woman um was carjacked uh twice in the same day uh that's about is i mean you just got the odds of that happening cannot be very high yeah so she um she says that she was carjacked found her missing vehicle and then was carjacked again by the same man as she waited for the locksmith um so that's i mean the odds of that like you said are just slim to none um and then you just get you. I feel like you get a free pass the next day to do like any crime outside of like murder. Yeah, I would see. <laughs> like, yeah, you. Uh, if you want to like, I don't know, do something borderline or even like minorly illegal. You would just illegal, gotta be like, you are get you a free serious? Pass. Like, yeah. how is this gonna? Ha- like, you'd have to almost think that someone's messing with you. Yeah, because that the odds of that happening twice, unless you're going to. An area where I guess if there's a high, oh, yeah, it is it is St. Louis, and that place smells like piss. So I'm just saying I don't I'm sure know. There's some skeevy characters. The, the odds I would have to say are very rare on that ever. I I would wonder if that had ever happened before. In it, the I mean, I'm of sure time. it has, but um, yeah. So they were able to locate her car, and, and you just feel bad for her. I mean, two times in the same day, no one deserves. No that. one deserves it. That's awful. I can't imagine even getting carjacked once, and then to have the same dude show up after you find it. It was the same person. It was the twice? same dudes that that stole it they... the first time because I feel like they took it and oh, well took it just... somewhere. She she traced chased it down by GPS. It said, and then she went to get it back and she was waiting for a locksmith they were like on the to way come out. let her in the car. They were back out on the way out to the car and like saw her in it. Or, yeah, oh, we got it. and then they waited. Did it again. That's crazy. Yeah. Yep. Um, my floater on the. Or, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, my floater, on the other hand, is extremely dumb dogs. There was a dog who went missing in Boca Raton, Florida in 2007, and it was found uh, last week uh, 1,130 miles away from Boca Raton in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So this little rat terrier dog, um, as dumb as the day is long, you know, like this thing must be an idiot. Somehow managed to go 1,100 miles in, what, 12 years? But then it got so lucky that it didn't get, like, eaten by a bear or an alligator on its Smarter track than from we Boca think. Raton. Like, what a what an ignorant bliss this dog lives in, that you could just be an oblivious idiot for 12 years, and then you still get found by your own. Hey, 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 don't, don't hate on it. He Maybe he... Was just a survivor. He <sighs> could live in the wilderness. He knew how to fend off. Anthony this dog animals. looks like it weighs about eleven pounds. So He's I don't know. Um, Smart. It knew where to go. It knew what to stay away from. Um, I think <laughs> I, I like that dog. I, I. It's also an ugly dog, so that's why I was kind of mean to it. But that's rude. What a, what a, what a lucky dog though. That's we'll, for sure. We'll end this with my sinker. My sinker is Fortnite. Apparently, uh, I was watching uh, the video where great. it just the, the whole video game just kind of goes into a black hole. Yeah. Um, and I think it's kind of setting up for a new <laughs> chapter or whatever. 100%. It's going to come back, but kind of a weird you, way of going about it. You a Fortnite guy? Not really. Yeah, I played it like twice and I I sucked at it. So. But it kind of seemed cool if you would have been in the moment like a big Fortnite guy and it just happens. You yeah, don't know. they said I, that there's a lot of videos of people going, "Oh my gosh!" freaking out. Yeah, I saw crazy. some kid like bashing his TV with a with like well, a baseball bat or something. Insane. Well, that's just kids, you know, like. Just but yeah, that's the kids. thing. Like you, what did you think the reaction was going to be from the fan base? Like, yeah, yeah. but they said like. Um, I think the server had said it had around 5 million people using it. And then by the time, uh, like, the little thing was over, uh, it was down to, like, 150,000 people that were on. Yeah, there, like, so, oh, but I, I have seen a lot of things that it's just setting up yeah. for something else. But uh, for now, my sinker will be Fortnite. Uh, right. and, and the way uh, – that's just crazy. That's just a game that so ends. Bad. But mm. I – in the long run, it'll probably be a great promotion for... Oh, 1,000%. They're going to be back up to 5 million people on that in no time. Yeah. Uh, but let's get into it. Let's recap. Week 6 of the NFL. We're watching the Packers-Lions right now. Uh, it's 13 nothing with about 10 minutes left in the second. 
Um, the Lions have gotten off to a great start two times in a row. They have started off drives with just humongous throws. Yeah, they run a flea flicker uh, on play one. One of them, the Packers see. defender just fell, and another one was kind of just an up for grabs ball. Yeah. Uh, but let's get into it. We the Bears bye week uh, next week. They go. They play in they have New at Orleans Soldier Field. Coming to Soldier Field. Uh, Soldier Field. We're trying to make sure maybe Teddy Bridgewater doesn't win a game. Um, He's what he's he's undefeated, right? No, well, yeah, I think technically, but he, yeah, Since being as a starter, a starter yeah, so, I think he is undefeated. So that uh, the but it's going to be a tough one. Um, Kyle Long has been Dumb put on you. injury reserve. It's almost his hip, but I think overall it was just kind of uh, work. That's what's going to happen with the team. I mean, I I like Kyle Long as a yeah. guy as a player. He's been really good over the past, but he's had a lot of injuries, and I think it's kind of starting to catch up with him. Oh, uh, it's sure. been a struggle throughout the beginning of the season. Even it's not just him. Charles Leno, the most Charles penalized Leno's player terrible. in the league, but Kyle Long says he's a bear for life. So. I think it's one of those things where we just kind of have to go into the sunset. I mean, um, it sucks, but I mean, he, he was paid pretty well at the back end of the contract. He's mm-hmm. gonna make some good money on the bear with the Bears. Uh, he's had a great career, Pro Bowler a few times. Uh, I always said, always like Kyle Long, but it, it yeah, just kinda, it sucks to see it a guy like that goes out that way. But, but that's how football is. If a football exactly. is unforgiving, and uh, it, it doesn't let you ever write your own story. Oh, unless for you're sure. Tom Brady, I guess. Now. It's going to. I think it's going to end up coming down. Obviously, we're only sitting here on a Monday, but we're looking at a game this Sunday afternoon. Uh, Mitch was back at practice today. I don't think he actually took any like real reps. He was just there. Um, what do you think? Obviously, like I said, we're looking at it from uh, from far away right now. What are we doing? Jesus Christ! Catch the ball. That man. was bad. Uh, that was a wide open touchdown. Oh, the cheese! He can. What are guys we holding doing? this cheese head? This, can't is, believe this is terrible it. podcasting. Can't believe but it. do you think you're going to see Mitch this weekend? Uh, I think we will. I think we'll see him. Um, at this point, all signs are pointing towards he'll be playing. Um, it's just kind of going to have to see how it, the other shoulder works, how he he plays, if he's favoring the shoulder, if he's trying to stay away from sliding. Uh, it's really going to be. It's just going to see how he looks and feels out there. Uh, but it's really and truthfully how this offensive line is going to uh, look after the bye week. They yeah. they they needed this week. There's like I said, there's a change with with. Uh, Did they bring Kyle someone Long. in to fill Kyle Long's spot yet, or how I, are they I going they about that? Moved, uh, I think they just moved up. Around. I think there was a guy who was kind of looking at that spot. Uh, I don't really know the offensive line. That's on me. <laughs> uh, but I know Charles Leno is still there. Uh, yeah. But we'll see. These guys uh, have had the two weeks, the 14 days to get back. This offense is a good offense. I think Mitch Trubisky can be a good quarterback, but it doesn't matter unless this team can have a, a sustainable offensive line. And I know it's stupid to say, but right. with a quarterback like Mitch, you need to give him time. You need to give him some room to work. But even if I don't think other than like some, the Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady's could – the last – Against the Raiders, that offensive line gave Chase Daniel no time right. at all. Uh, and unfortunately for the Bears, Chase Daniel just doesn't have the legs that Mitch has. No. Mitch can use those legs to get him out of but, situations like, said, like the, that. So, if the shoulder hurts, um, he's going to be a he's little be bit not more. Get hit, then he may not be using that aspect of his game, right. and then that would make him a very predictable quarterback. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. But let's get into this week. Um, biggest, I think my biggest upset of the year so far. The Jets beating Dallas. I understand Sam Darnold's back, and maybe this Jets team looked good, but this Dallas team, from where they where they started off this season, so hot, so good, uh, to losing to the Jets. Uh, I understand. That's yeah, three losses in a row. Le'Veon I think. Bell and uh, Sam Darnold, but still a team that has the uh, what they want to do is the Super Bowl, right? Playoffs. This team cannot lose games like the Jets. Uh, Dak Prescott losing money by the day. I know it's funny. Uh, not really. He's no, not really losing much money by here's, the day. Here's but a stat I saw on Twitter looks, today. Speaking uh, of those Cowboys, really. NFL teams since 1991 are 90 and 1 when they win the time of possession battle, total yards, turnovers, pick up 25 first downs, and convert at least 10 or more third down attempts. 
Dallas's loss to the Jets yesterday is that only loss since 1991 when they have checked off all of those boxes. That's crazy. That's trash. That's crazy. That is not a good football team. Yes, they they were beating up on absolute you know terrible teams at the beginning of the year. They, they have not it. beat a good no. team. No. And then they lost to the Jets. That's all you should have to say right there. It doesn't matter who they beat. They lost to the Jets. Yeah. Okay? The Jets are terrible. And and they they lose that game. It was just em- embarrassing. The Cowboys have to figure something out. I don't know if if Jason Garrett I've said that I know people have said this probably a hundred times, you know, in his career, but does he if they continue to fall, you've got to fire him. Yeah. Uh, you, you have to. Especially for an organization like uh, Dallas, who had just given so much money to Ezekiel Elliott, are, are going to at some point have to give Dak Prescott a lot of money. Uh, this defense is not looking like a, de- a Cowboys defense of past. Right. Um, and it's, you're just kind of sitting there like, well, what are we going to do if we can't win with this quarterback and running back and you can't pay players around them because you already gave them all the money? Yeah. So you're, you're kind of going to have to start, I guess, looking at the head coach and just kind of start going down the list of problems to fix, and Jason Garrett could be one of those guys. I think he's going to be the, uh, the first axe to fall right there. I don't. I, it, it's embarrassing. Um, but, yeah, let's keep going through this. Patriots, absolute wagon on Thursday night. Yeah, when they're playing, like, nobodies. Yeah. You know, they've uh, yet to play a good team. The Giants look different with Saquon back. But Next. still, they have yet to play a team that's over 500. No, the Jets. Oh, the Jets. The, 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 the Giants, sorry. Yeah, I the agree. The Giants will look better with Saquon coming And they, back. they hung in it for uh, a Dane while. Dane Dimes is looking like a quarterback that can uh, do something with this team mm-hmm. and be a player, a, a quarterback that shouldn't have been booed. I understand that. I love how that's always being brought back, but don't ever – I always think uh, as a fan, you really didn't expect a quarterback like that. You can kind of see some frustration. For but sure. it's one of those things like the Porzingis thing with uh, when he got booed and yeah. then when he got – I mean, he did get traded, and it ended up not working out. So. No. Uh, How about – did you watch any of the – first of all, I love those early, early Friday morning games. James I watched. Winston stinks. I literally he wrote the same stinks. thing. stinks. He's not good. He doesn't look like a, a professional He's, quarterback. And this – this is we're going to talk – this is two games in one right here. This is how we take it together. Yep. The Rams. Yep. How did the Rams let this – I know that I think the Tampa Bay had a few – Offense, a defensive touchdown, but they let Jameis Winston go beat into them. LA and beat them. That's embarrassing. This guy, does, the Rams is not, are dead. The, I, at what point does Tampa move on? Or oh, at least yeah. sometime this season. You have uh, to. He just doesn't look like a capable NFL quarterback. No, he looks like he looks uh, just. Like, he looks like he doesn't understand what's going on. He looks like Dante Culpepper in his Miami years, not even his his Minnesota. Like he's years. just out there slinging the ball around, to and it just looks ugly. The other team, like he's not even like. Granted, he I has think good two wide of receivers. his five picks were not his fault, but like still, like he's throwing. He also threw a couple balls that probably should have been intercepted and were not. But you don't put yourself in a position to score, and you don't put yourself in a position to win. Exactly. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, very, very good. Yeah. Uh, this team, I wonder what they're going to look like when Cam Newton comes back. If he's healthy, maybe he can get it back going. Uh, we'll have to see I just that. also think they're in a, in a situation where they can tell Cam, like, hey, you're going to make this money regardless. You wait till you're 110%, buddy. You know, like one of those, like, you just, you wait till you feel, you know, 100% ready. Kind of make him, you know, just keep riding this Kyle Allen thing out. But let's talk about a team that you've been high on all year. Are the Browns dead? They just they, kissed that away yesterday. They get they go off to, what was it, 20 nothing, 23 maybe? Yeah. Uh, the, the whole place is going crazy. The dog pound was going nuts. And Russell Wilson, I've always been kind of – I've always liked Russell Wilson. He's a good quarterback. I watched him. I don't him, trust him. I've never – I watched him throw a ball where he could see a defense – I mean, he literally got creamed yes. after he threw it and threw a dime. <laughs> I don't know how a human can do that. You know you're just about to get hit by a 300-pound yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Like a and truck you running a you over. a dime. Uh, they came back one. I think Seattle is good, and I think the Browns are not right now. Yes, uh, they, they, they have a lot team, to figure out. And everybody obviously Baker so hyped just up. Can't be a consistent quarterback. He exactly. just consistently throws the ball all around. I, I that's why I released him from my fantasy team and picked up Teddy. So we'll see how that goes. Um, how about the Chiefs? Very vulnerable. Two weeks in a row. I've I said from the beginning of the year I have it on my picks here. I've got the the Texans making a run in the playoffs, but I did not expect the Chiefs to look this bad two weeks in a row. 
at home. So, do they have a bye week? They need a bye week. They, their defense well, is not good. I'm just trying to good. figure out. They're going to be getting Kareem Hunt, right? Yeah, which so, I need as well. He's sitting on my bench. Which is uh, week eight or nine, I think. Was he suspended for the first eight? I think so. So, uh, that oh, wait, will no. change. Kareem Hunt. No, it's Tyree Kilder. Kareem Hunt plays for the Browns. Remember they released Oh, okay. Him. So, that's what I was thinking about. Yeah, this Tyree week. Kill's coming back Sorry. off of an injury. Uh, it's the man, other scumbag. Yeah. 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 Well, speaking of, speaking of that, Tyreek Hill had a – that, that catch was insane. I don't yeah. know how he got that. Yeah, but. Oh, Tyreek Hill played yesterday? Yeah. I didn't even see – they lost that bad and had Tyreek Hill? Yeah, I mean, he made it on the – I mean, he jumped up, but yeah. <sighs> they got a touchdown? Yeah. About so they must have went for it. No, uh, they got a penalty, 12 men on the field. Oh, what a tough – the is the light show just a new thing for all teams? I think so. It's a night thing, yeah. I saw it in a college football game the other night. Just, I always think the TV's broken. Yeah, I agree. Like, like there's something the wrong with the light. Yeah, bulb. but two not good guys. But, no. yeah, the Chiefs look very vulnerable. Their defense is not good. Um, I At this rate, they're not going to be playing in an AFC championship game, and they're sure as hell not going to be playing in a Super Bowl if, no. if this continues. Uh, uh, Baltimore, they won. They beat the Bengals at home by six. Right. But it's the th- Bengals at home. I was uh, listening to PMT today, and they were saying how I they think that I agree with them that is this Ravens team so overrated because of the first, their little start against yes, the Dolphins? That's exactly been, what we're it's seeing. almost like they've been living off of the first half of the Dolphins game the whole yes, season. Yes, exactly. Uh, oh, we blew the I Dolphins. I don't trust out. this team. I don't think they're going to be that good. Their defense isn't very good. No, uh, Lamar Jackson. I mean, he's good, but can he lead this team to the playoffs? No. I don't think so. Um, maybe to the playoffs, not through the playoffs. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. So I think that the Ravens are still uh, got to prove a lot. They yeah. Prove a lot. And in the worst football game in the last probably 10 years, we have the Redskins taking down the oh, Dolphins. One point win, 17 <laughs> 16, the R words. Um, I mean, that is a game that you that couldn't score, have That paid score me. is perfect for that game. 17 16. Uh, one team had to lose. Yes. Somebody had to win a game, the first game of the season. I'll be honest. If someone approached me Saturday night when we were at, at at the corner and said, here, I have plane tickets and front row tickets to the Miami Dolphins, Washington Redskins game tomorrow. Here's a hotel room. Here's a flight. Here's all your meals. I don't think I'd have went. It's in Miami, though. I wouldn't have went. I, mean, I, mean, I said I'd Miami. have other things I'd rather do. Like uh, I'd rather have gone to the cookout that I went to with my friends and just – you know, relax here and not have to worry about traveling. That's how much I would not go see that game. Eagles, Vikings, Kirk Cousins back to being a good quarterback well, in people's yeah. eyes, which is crazy. But the Eagles uh, are baffling to me. Like, they, they look they so good no in Green sense. Bay, and then they, you know, they, they have a couple good games, um, and, and then they go to Minnesota and they get slapped around. You know, it wasn't even Viking, like, well. Kirk Cousins made everyone happy. Diggs got a touchdown. Thielen got a touchdown. They, had, yeah. they all had good games. Uh, but the Eagles, the, their the defense Eagles, backfield is Minnesota trash. at home too is always different. Uh, New Orleans can going we, into Jacksonville. I, I know you're you're, you're buying it. Can we be done with all the Gardner Minshew BS? I think they it, scored six points. I yesterday. think it, it brings back the point that they're going to bring Nick Foles back. You have and, to, but I still think he can be a quarterback in the league. I still think in he's like going to be a three decent, or four years. I think he's be, be. I think he's. I wouldn't just give up on him now, but it's to for it's, this year. It, I would. This game, if you get uh, this game, proves that it, when Nick Foles is healthy, he will be the starter. There exactly. will be no question. 49ers, five and zero. Oh, Wagon. Go into L.A., beat the Rams. Defense uh, looks good, defense too. That's looks why good. That's and the, what the Rams big difference do is. not. It looks like they've regressed. It looks like uh, Jared Goff, I don't know what's going on with him right now. What He, he got that paycheck, and he's been, he's been bad since. Let me look up here. I, I want to see how many throwing yards he ended up with. He ended up with 78 throwing yards. 13 of 24, 54%. Holy hell. Uh, I was wondering why Cooper Cup But no had touchdowns, like, no interceptions, one fumble. I, I I have Cooper Cup on my fantasy team, and he had like three points. I wonder what the hell went wrong. I didn't even check the score yesterday. Yeah, can we good. relegate the Falcons to like the, lose to the Cardinals? That they're they're another team that that seems to should have the pieces, right? They have nothing. They're not good. That they, over was so they right. They should be so good. They have a new stadium. They still have Matt Ryan. They have Julio Jones. Uh, you know, my, they've got all these guys. And they're just – they're terrible. They're just not they're good. They're so bad. Not good. Uh, yeah, like you said, losing to Arizona. I know in Arizona, Kyler Murray, but I just – It wasn't even team. that close, was it? What was the final? 
It was 34-33. Oh, okay. So that one was close. Actually, the opposite. Yeah. Very close. But still, <laughs> like, yeah, they stink. I'm done with them. Uh, Vic Fangio, two dubs in a row, shutting out the Titans. Is Ma- it Marcus Mariota. That, like, is, it a, is it the Broncos finally figuring things out, or is it Tennessee stinks? Tennessee's not. I mean, did, did Mariota get hurt? No clue. They pulled him? Because it says Tannehill played, too. I have no idea. I don't know. Um, Joe Flacco, though, looking good. Not really. Uh, 177 yards, That's one like, interception. That game sounds suck. 16 nothing is yeah, what the score of that game was. That sounds like a – And then how about – Why can't kind go of, back? I don't know if I'd say maybe the second biggest upside of the day, um, the Chargers getting uh, smacked around at home by the Steelers. Yeah. That was embarrassing. Yeah. And then Phillip Rivers kind of losing his cool, grabbing uh, the yeah, he was Like, dude, what do you do? Like, he's a crazy dude. Uh, he should have got How did he not get smacked or That's thrown to the ground? I, I would have. But you don't know what Phil Rivers would do. He's a crazy person. Well, he's also. Uh, so I saw on Twitter they were like, Phillip Rivers blacked out and thought he was yelling at his nine year old son. But for, these teams are making it a little bit interesting. Yeah. They're making the everything are interesting. Bizarre. It's going to be bizarre. It's going to be a fun ending. Uh, we're only week six, going into week seven. Uh, like I said, but football is slowly but surely just flying by us. It is. And it's scary to think about every other every other Saturday or Sunday. I always feel like I'm uh, – at the end of the day, you're just kind of sad. You go to bed and you're like, we're one week closer to the football being <laughs> over from the year. Um, but do we – What do you, I think we got all the games there, right? Yeah, that's uh, all of them. Yeah, we, could, we already talked about Dallas. Uh, but what, College football, we had a few good games this weekend. Like I said, that's slowly but surely starting to really ramp up into some big games. Mm-hmm. Oklahoma going into Texas, oh, yeah. winning by not a touchdown. Texas, the Red River shootout, which is not played. It's played at the Cotton Bowl. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not played at either one of their places. It's a neutral side game. I just said it because it's like the second one. Yeah, the Texas team. was the home team this year, that's all. That's it. But yeah, Oklahoma's what a, game. a wagon, dude. Oklahoma's yeah. good. But Texas had opportunities to yeah. win that game. I bet Texas on Texas. Texas is a bad football team. Either. No, it, it was a good game. It was yeah. a very good game. Uh, Michigan. It was interesting for yeah. a while. Way more against interesting Illinois. Than it should have been. Way more interesting. I had that number two. Uh, didn't really work out for me. I, I, I'm just what looking was at all that, these. Seventeen and a half. Uh, Twenty-four oh, and a half. Uh, which looked good when they were up twenty-one. No, twenty-eight. Nothing. Yeah. Um, but then they just – I don't know what happened there. How about Georgia? Georgia, Georgia looked proved they are awful. Frauds. They looked uh, – again, I had frauds. Georgia, and they looked awful. And Kirby awful. Smart, they couldn't like, do anything. Jake Fromm, I don't know what he was throwing the ball around. It looked awful. They had no rhythm to their offense. At home, lose to South Carolina by three. That's ugly. South Carolina is a bad football team. Penn, they had a good day, but they are a bad football team. Penn State – Iowa 17 12, the real State's, Big Ten game. Yeah. There. Penn State's uh, going to be fun to watch. I think if, I think they get, I don't know if it's both Michigan and Ohio State uh, at home, but they're going to be fun. They're tough, man. They're, also, shout out Wisconsin, uh, Michigan State. I had the under 40 and a half, um, and, Mich- and it was uh, pretty late in the game. Or early, there was a little bit of time left. Uh, it was 38 nothing, and it ended up being only 38 nothing. I don't know how it happened. I don't know how no one scored. Got very lucky. And how about Notre Dame? I mean, with a three-point win, they're not a top-10 team. People USC were talking about them being in the Final Four again. They're not a top-10 team. No. USC is down conference. to their third-string quarterback. Join a conference. And they should have won that game. Join a conference. Uh, Your Florida Gators. Yeah. Uh, LSU, Joe Burrow, is going to be good. I think they are going to be in the playoff. I think it's going to be fun. I think that's a very good team with a good defense. Um, but, yeah, I mean, hey, it's a tough I've, game to go in to uh, down there yeah, in LSU. You go into Death Valley at any point. It's, it's not going to be easy. I thought, I thought the game. Gators played tough. Not I thought really. we were only down. Or we were tied going into the fourth quarter, I think. And, you know, gave them all they could handle. But Virginia. I I really Sorry. like what I see out of Florida. I think we could legitimately be in the hunt for a, a Final Four appearance within the next five years. I think Dan Mullins is getting his guys in. We're seeing some some really good football coming out of the swamp, and uh, you know this is a learning experience. So we're gonna we're gonna keep chugging forward. I like what I saw. Uh, I just said this was one of the best sack uh, dances I've ever seen. I think or thinks he sacked him, and then hilarious. he like laid down like he was sleeping, and they woke him up, and he like. Put his clothes on. That's awesome. I hope they would show it. I think it's Zadarius Smith. We'll have to look it up on Twitter. But, uh, oh, Virginia. 
going to Miami. Miami not very good this year, not playing well, yeah. and lose nine to seventeen. What a boring game! Boring. It's been a lot of weird games. Now though, this I will week. say this: you said LSU, you have in the Final Four, and this might be a little no, controversial. Just, yeah, that was a little bit but no, I, I I have my top four um, right now. I have Bama and Clemson. I know Clemson is. They, they, they are taking care of business. They routed Florida State uh, on Saturday. So I have them, uh, I mean, 45 to 14. The, I think Bama and Clemson are in. Um, if Ohio State can run the table in the Big Ten, then they're going to be in. I also like Oklahoma is my other top four team. And I have Wisconsin, or I'm sorry, LSU, then Wisconsin as five and six. Um, but obviously, one of, the, I think, I don't think any. Four of those are going to go undefeated. Now, obviously, if Ohio State's going to stay in the top four, they're going to have to beat Wisconsin, I think, in the Big Ten Championship. Same with Bama. I think they're going to have to beat LSU because those two are, are obviously in the same conference and interchangeable, so we'll see where, where it goes from there. I got a question. What's up with your NIU Huskies? They're winning now. They go Huge on the road win. and win at Ohio, but lose to Bowl, with a ball state yeah, at home. Yeah. I like, mean, no, it's a very confusing no, team. No, it's, it's not a confusing. It, it, if you look at it, I mean, it's it's a new coach, a new system, a very young team. The I think, over, wow. You know, it's it's um, yeah, it's going to be one of those. It's going to take some time, but I like where they're going. Obviously, I don't like that they lose the, to ball state after leading at half. Um, but you know, Playing they, some good teams on the road tough, too. Yeah. I mean, but they're, they're making money for the program. They're bringing kids in. I like I like to see where uh, I think it's Hancock or Hammock. I can't remember either of his name. Holy uh, But I like shit. where we're going. Louisville, Wake Forest, 62-59. to 59. Yeah. Holy Those teams don't play any defense cow. either, and their offenses are really good. Wake Forest was 19th but lost at yeah. home. Yeah. Wow, that's, what, that's a, too what good a score. That's a score I'd offenses, love to see. Offenses, anyway. Yeah. Um do we want to move on? Let's let's quickly jump into this little bit here. Um, what's going on with the Blackhawks, man? I think it's a lot of defensive. Uh, I, the offense is there. Um, it just seems like their defense is not really up to par. I mean, but it's just kind of some weird things going on. Like I said, tonight uh, we are talking before the podcast. They're throwing Corey Crawford out there. And uh, what's their goalie? I thought I saw. I'm going to look this up. Um, the kid that they were – that we were talking about them playing? Yeah. He's, um, I know. He is, Robin Le- Lenner, yeah, L-E-H-N-E-R. Uh, played for the Islanders last year. Mm, that's uh, right. But he has a very good track record against the team they're playing tonight, which is the Oilers. Um, and for some reason, they are sitting him and playing Crawford. It just kind of seemed like a weird move. Yeah. Uh, they got to get on that in the win category. They I, mean, get I know they picked up a point. It's a weird start to the season. They started off overseas over in Prague. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it, you gotta get on the, you gotta get that W because uh, the the defense just like I said doesn't look like it's really up to par right now. But maybe it just needs to take a little bit uh, to start the season off right. But like I said, the offense is there. You know it's always gonna be there. Andrew Shaw playing pretty well. Um, this Kirby Dak, I don't know if he's going. I I always I forget what it was. You get a certain amount of time for yeah. a rookie before Kids you can make a conditioning decision. Conditioning stint, so he can get. I think that's shape. pretty cool. I've been to two of the first three Rockford IceHogs yeah. game, and they did not look good. Sweet uh, sweatshirt, yeah. though. Got a nice little. But Blackhawks, little like I said, way, 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 way too early to think about anything other than um, just kind of giving it time. Yeah. But zero uh, and three start is not what how you want to start. Yeah. Anything Jonathan off. Taze is off to a really slow start. Um, has no points right now. Um, and his plus minus is minus one. Not what you like to see out of your captain. Uh, doesn't have any uh, goals or assists, like I said, with no points. Nothing, just hasn't nothing. done a and lot the right first now. right now. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but then to, we went to the Bulls game the other night. They looked good. You really don't know. Yeah. Uh, Zach Levine looking like he had a nice off season. 23 at one point, and then you blow. But like you said, it's it's off season. Oh, yeah, it's, it's all around. Right. Kobe White looks like – it's just nice to look up, see him go up and down the court. Uh, he can push that ball, which is something the Bulls really need to get after uh, with a young team like they have with Zach Levine. They can get out there. But we also saw Zion Williamson. Unbelievable. Uh, just the jump he had. I mean, the way he gets around the basket. Uh, he, I mean, he was going for Rudy Gobert. Yeah, uh, it's just preseason, but he's two time defensive player of the year. Um, so I think that, I mean, Zion Williamson is going to have a special year this year because it looks like he can just finish at any time whenever he wants to around the basket. Yeah. 
So yeah, it's the that main is, season overall is just gonna be fun to watch. I agree. I can't a lot wait. of there's no really dominant team right now. Yes, there are yeah. a lot of good, 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 good teams, which is not the right way to say that. But uh, <laughs> like with Kawhi going, the Clippers are now going to be a contender. It's a lot the more Lakers of a two man, two man teams instead of you know three stars. They're trying yeah. to. I think they're taking a step back and turning it more into a two man league. Well, you said the sports is that. really starting to ramp up. We got like I, said, I think you have what did I say October twenty fourth. I think is around the right the time the NBA season really kicks off. Even though some would say it's Christmas Day. No, uh, that's just inaccurate. Starts. But uh, I didn't say they got hockey going on right now. NFL in full swing. Now that the Bears bye week, we ha- for the rest of the season, there will be Bears football every single week, mm-hmm. uh, good or bad. We don't know if that's going to be yet. Uh, what, like I said, excited about the Bears, excited about the Blackhawks, excited about the Bulls. Uh, and then it's for Cub fans, we have a manager to be named here. In, I don't know when. Yeah, um, who knows? But I saw – who did you say was um, – I keep forgetting the name. Gabe Kepler. Gabe who Ke- is Ben's- Kepler? Kepler, K E P L E R, I believe. Oh yeah, he just got fired from the Phillies. Phillies, yeah. Um, and then the Astros bench coach, which his name yeah, I'm is. I'm not even sure. Who. Not, but that's all. I, I think, from what I I've heard some things about the uh, the Astros bench coach, and I think that he would be a good candidate uh, because he kind of removes himself from the team, yeah. But is in from an organization that the Cubs kind of want to look to model yourself, to model after. yourself off yeah, of because absolutely. Theo has literally talked about the analytics of the Astros and stuff mm-hmm. um, within it, and that would be a good guy to bring in. I agree. Uh, but they also had David Ross last week and, and actually, Joe actually, shout out to our guy Fred. Actually, one of the guys he's talked about on Twitter actually um, was named, I believe, remember how Theo came out and said he wanted like um, like a head of pitching? or a, Gabe Kapler. No, it was – yeah, th- but it was um, – Oh, shoot. They, it was a weird posi- title position, um, and people were kind of crapping on Theo about it. And, and Fred had talked about, um, you know, one of the names that were brought in, and, and the guy was a, a, was hired. I can't remember if it was pitching or hitting. I wish I would have looked it up a little bit closer, but I do remember Fred saying about the guy. I think it was – I think the department was like the, um, the head of pitching or head – it's going to drive me freaking nuts. I can't even – think of it right now but uh fred nailed it on the head i like to see um you know that theo's saying these things and then he's going out and doing them i i don't know who the cubs are going to hire but i trust that theo is going to hire the right guy i have no reason to not trust him when it comes to that he's one for one in managers so um you know let's let's make it happen and whoever the right guy for the job is best director of player development that I think was it because that's Gabe Kapler he's talking about. No, it might have been something else. Wait, wait, wait. What? But Theo Gabe Kapler to hasn't been hired. Was no, no, best. no. It's it was. I think it was yesterday or Saturday. Um, but I, it's gonna drive me freaking nuts. I can't believe I didn't. I can't remember what it, that was called. But yeah, um, like I said, I think the next month or so. I don't. I don't. Like I said, I don't really know if you can officially announce a coach until after the playoffs. Yeah. Um. But after, really truthfully, yes, we're excited about Steve's gonna be the the new Cubs coach, but. Mm-hmm. I want to see who's going to be the new Cubs lineup yeah. next year. Who's gonna really going to be the bullpen? Because uh, these teams, I mean, the Astros and Yankees don't look like they're going to be stopping anytime soon with no. the players on their team. No. But it does go out to prove that if you can build something nice, I mean, look, the Dodgers went down and they were the best team in baseball. All yeah. Year, you know, so. But let's get into it. We happen? got a little TCF trivia. Typical Chicago trivia, baby. Sports My favorite trivia. segment. I'm very excited. I got a question I'm very excited about. I got a couple I'm excited I got a good for you. One. I'm in the minor league. I'm just letting you know I'm in the minor league spirit after seeing hockey, two hockey games in the last three days. My questions are a little minor league based. They're oh. not too hard though, I think. That sounds I thought we were going Chicago sport. What? Yeah, but it's related to Chicago teams. Let's hear what you got. Let's go All right, first my first one. one. So the Rockford Ice Hogs, uh, what year did they become the minor league affiliate of the Chicago Blackhawks? 2008? You did? Yeah, how did you know that? That was a guess. It was 2007, 2008, so I'll give it to okay. you. Okay. That was a damn that was good a, guess. That was, I yes. don't know how I would have ever looked that up ever. <laughs> That's amazing. But I knew it wasn't very long ago, though. Yeah, it's been uh, 11 years, I think. So. 11 years. All right. Um, what Chicago Cub holds the record for the most home runs without hitting a grand slam? Holy cow. Can you give me, like, a decade that this player played? You would. You've seen him play. Okay. Damn, that's hard. Mark Grace. 
Sammy Sosa. Get out of here. He hit 247 home runs before hitting a grand slam. No kidding. I would have never guessed that. 247 home runs. All right. The second one. Um, yeah, it's still, I guess. Um, who is the Blackhawks' other minor league affiliate? They have two minor league teams. Do you know who the other one is? Oh, is it uh, the Wolves? No, it is not. Ah. They belong to the Las Vegas Golden Knights. It is really? a team called the Indy Fuel. Huh. Yeah, out of Indianapolis. I, f- I figured you might know that because they go to uh, Pat McAfee and those guys from Heartland Radio go to those games all the time. Wow. Yeah. Did not know that. That's a tough one. All right. Uh, what Cubs player tied the MLB record for three triples in a game? Uh, and I've seen this person in my life. Same thing here. Corey Patterson. Sean Dunstan. Damn. I didn't I think I said Sean Dunstan never played in my lifetime. That's, in your that's lifetime? How old is Sean Dunst? I thought that's uh, like he a might have played when name. I was really young. Hmm. Let's look that up real quick. I will. I'll, I'll, I'll see when he. Um. Sean Dunstan. No way. Sean Dunstan. Sean Dunstan played until 2002. So, yeah, you've seen him no play. No way. You've 100% seen him play. I don't remember him at all in my lifetime. All right, move on. All right, my last one. The Chicago Bulls have a, minor, a G League affiliate called the Windy City Bulls. They've had them there since 2016. Before then, which team were the Chicago Bulls affiliated with, a team they shared with the Miami Heat? Huh. I have no idea. No? It's the Iowa Energy. I knew there was. Because they used to split. Screech used to tell us about that. Yep. So they used to split teams like there would be teams that had like two or three affiliates and that's they they split the iowa energy they are now the iowa wolves because they belong to the minnesota timber all right i'm very excited about this question all right who did the bulls pick with the last pick in the 1986 draft which would have been the 10th round that was the year michael jordan was drafted who else did they draft with the last pick did he like Jesus Christ, these are hard, man. You definitely know this guy, but you would never think it. In the 10th round of the NBA draft in 19... Oh, uh, no. I was going to say something that's definitely the wrong answer. Um, damn, that's hard. Come on. I wouldn't say it if he wasn't like uh Yeah, it's probably going to be like someone famous for some other reason. Yep, it um, is. Frank Thomas. Carl Lewis. No shit. Carl Lewis. And he also won 10 medals, nine gold medals, and yeah. one silver. Yeah. He was Carl also Lewis drafted was... by the uh, Dallas Cowboys, 12th round. But he played for – he signed with neither team. Yeah, he just wasn't at like the – Yeah, like so the he, he was a, a, drafted as a wide receiver in 84. That's crazy. Yeah. I did not know that. And the Bulls drafted him 10th that. the same year they uh, drafted Michael Jordan. That's wild, man. I did I was no excited idea. when I found that question. I'm that's, like, that's really a good cool. One. That was something I like. I thought I would. You would know more about. No, I not, not I mean, you, no. but I just yeah. meant like in general that would be it, known more. more common. That's crazy. I did not know that. Yeah. Uh, so which you would, win this one. I think this is the first trivia you've won. Yeah. Uh, you he pulled 2008 out of your ass. And he, yeah, that was crazy. that was impressive. Uh, but 208th overall pick. That's right, that, the I, Chicago that's, Bulls. The, the NBA now that we have the G League needs to go back to like six rounds. Yeah. I would love to see that. But thank you for listening, watching to episode 52 of Typical Chicago Fans presented by From the Sideline. If you want to follow me on Twitter, um, it's been kind of a sad yeah. Twitter life for me lately. I, if your life's going hard and you want to, like, kind I of misery gonna, loves company, go follow Zach I said I was going to go play in a cornfield. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> um, if you want to follow me, it's at <laughs> Zlilia, L-I-L-J-A-T-C-F on Twitter. The main page is at Typical underscore Chicago. From the sideline, if you just want to type from the sideline in, that's uh, also a good way. But if you want to just look it up at sideline with uh, the first I is a one sports. Again, that is sideline with the first I and that is a one sports. Uh, We do a Facebook live show between Tuesdays and Thursdays. We had a special one this week on Fridays. Uh, We do that around 8 o'clock. Check us out. Like us on 
uh, Facebook, and you will get our updates. We put our we put our podcasts, our videos, all on there, um, and then also the from the sideline on Facebook. They share all of our stuff. We also put our podcasts, videos, YouTube stuff on there. Instagram, a little ping pong action. If you ever want to know, I think it's eleven ten. Me, eleven ten. You, uh, Boomy got the win today. Uh, my knee is pretty messed up. Mm. It's bad. Mm. Um, but mm. Instagram is typical Chicago fans, and from the sideline on, like I said, Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at BoomyTCF. All the podcasts are on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. You can find them in either place. Um, and head on over to the YouTube page. We're up to 30 subscribers, so let's keep that number growing. When we get closer to 50, we're going to do a giveaway. Love it. Um, so make sure you head on over there, subscribe to the page, and uh, catch all of our content there. Have a good week. Hopefully you guys uh, have a better week than I did gambling and or watching sports for teams that you like. I don't know. Um, just been gambling don't do it. Just go home and, and, and hug your loved ones. Hug your loved ones. Give them a kiss on the forehead. Tell them. I don't even know what to send <laughs> this. Peace. Peace.